So what we see now is what vector sees. And let me get rid of this screen over here. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. As you can see, I'm not in my studio because I need access to my PC to show you a very cool app for Vector. Now, in my previous videos, I've been doing some plays between Vector and myself and also Vector and Cosmo using an app for Android called Vector CTRL. And this is the interface here. And this is what I use to have Vector say whatever I want. I did a video on this app about a year ago. Now, there is something also on your computer. Let me show you first the website, then I'll show you the app. So the website is here, and now this is all white, so this will probably mess the, uh, yeah, the lighting on my face. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to show that to you guys for a few seconds. So this is the website, Weekend Robot. Uh, the file was updated just March 28th, 2020, like just uh, basically like, uh, like a few weeks ago. And I want to give credit to the right person here. This is an amazing app, and I think this is Wayne Venables. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll just put a, an update in my video description. But what he did is amazing. Current version is 1.0.6, so let me minimize that. And this is the app right here. And I'm going to start recording so we can uh, see that uh, when I... Uh, when I do my video editing. So here we go. So what we see now is what Vector sees. And let me get rid of this screen over here. So this is what Vector sees, as you can see here, my hand. So this is very cool. So we have at the bottom menu, uh, the video camera, so we can remove that. We have here the control keyboard. So I can have my keyboard here and look at that. I can control Vector. So I can turn, at the same time I move forward, I can just turn, move forward, move backward. This is very, very cool. And the next one here is talk. So you can have Vector say what you have here by pressing enter. Oh, maybe I need to click in here first. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Now this is very cool. Now you can change here colors and also uh, you can exit that. So here are the menus on the side. So you have your settings, your vector parameters. This is where you could change uh, his uh, eye colors and also the volume. You have lifetime stats like my vector here has driven 41,000 centimeters. <laughs> so that's a long distance and he's been active an equivalent of 12 days. So these are the stats. And then you have here animations. So you can select here shortcuts for animations. Like if I press one, you did the blackjack uh, lose animation. So you can select whatever you want over here. And then you have drive on the charger, pop a wheelie. This will work, pop a wheelie if he sees the cube. So if he sees the cube, like right now, you can see here on the screen. I'm just going to uh, move the cube a bit more this way. He's looking all around the place. There you go. And now if you, if you click on Papa Willy, he sees the cube, as you can see on the screen. And look at that. There you go, a perfect Willy. I'll just wait here to see what he does. Hey, he's back on his feet, or I should say tracks. And we have here roll the cube, dock with the cube, pick up the cube, uh, sleep, put him to sleep, play a sound file. You can play music with your vector. Look at that. I'll, I'll try to find here quickly a music file, maybe right here. Uh, yeah, listen to that. Oh, there was an audio stream failure. Okay, that happens sometimes. And I think I got disconnected. Yeah, I got disconnected. So let's let's reconnect. Okay, we're back in. And let's go back to play a sound file. Let's go back here to, uh, no, I like, I need to go to D and uh, play a 
a music file from YouTube, maybe this one here again. There you go. So the music is playing from uh, Vector's uh, speaker and he's going to dance. Sometimes he does. Uh, he doesn't do it now. He did the last time. Uh, he doesn't do it now. Okay, so let's stop that. Let's go back to play sound. Okay, stop. Uh, we can manage photos. See the photos that the Vector has uh, taken. We can also manage faces. So right now he has only my face and my daughter's face as face recognition. And we have here development tools. We have the robot, we have the cube, we have events, we have world. So I have not played with this yet. But robot, for example, you look at the sensor or the touch sensor. It says false. If I touch vector, look at that. It says true. So that's what developers would use to access the sensors. And what else do we have? We have, we have look around in place. Now Vector is going to look around. If he sees my face, he will put my name on my face. He's <laughs> we can see here my uh, Star Wars Lego collection up there. I have a few videos on my channel about my uh, collector's edition. Uh, these are special sets from uh, Lego. And also, also we can uh, click on search for faces. Maybe if I turn Vector. And if he sees me, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. No, he won't work this time. Well, it did before, but it doesn't look like he wants to do it now. So, guys, this is a very, very interesting app, as you can see. Uh, you can experiment more with it. Um, I mean, you can have a lot of fun, especially if you want to show your friends what Victor uh, can do. And like I said before, if I click here on the, uh, the game controller... Oh, it doesn't work now. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, I know why, because Vector is currently uh, looking around and searching for faces. I'm not sure if I can disable that now. Maybe I have to wait. Yeah, sometimes you have to wait for Vector to finish a, um, an action. So, uh, yeah, I have to wait a bit longer. Maybe I won't be able to do it now. But anyway, I did, uh, I did it once. So, it's cool you can control Vector's movements with your keyboard, with the arrow, the arrow keys. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you to Matthew, one of my subscribers, for pushing me in doing this video. And see you next time. Goodbye, guys.